Deadly dispute in Glassell Park claims the life of one man and sends another to the hospital after shots ring out at a used car dealership. It happened late this afternoon on San Fernando Road. And tonight, police are searching for a motive and the gunman who witnesses say fled the scene in a white SUV. Rachel Menatop is live in Glassell Park with the latest on the shooting investigation. Rachel. Share Micah, good evening to you both. We just spoke with an LAPD detective who says he doesn't know what led up to the shooting, but it might have started after some kind of an argument. It happened on the lot of this car dealership here behind us, and you can see the large police presence. They've been out here for the last five or so hours processing the scene in an attempt to find the man responsible. Two people were rushed to the hospital Tuesday night after a shooting on the Car Grow used car dealership's lot on San Fernando Road in Glassell Park. According to detectives, both victims are men in their 50s. At least one of them was an employee at the dealership. One person has since died at the hospital. The other is expected to recover. At least one shooter approached our victims and shot multiple rounds towards our victims, striking both. Lieutenant Ryan Rabbit, a homicide detective, says initial reports indicate some kind of dispute, but it's not clear what led up to the deadly shooting and whether or not the suspect knew his victims prior to it. This scene has been locked down and we will process it after we write warrants and really get into the video of what happened. Socorro Vela came over here to check on her daughter. And you said that your daughter works across the street at this donut shop. Yeah. How does it make you feel that this has happened so close to her workplace? Uncomfortable, scary, that we're not safe anymore. An unsettling reality, Sky 5 captured the aftermath as the victims were taken by ambulance for treatment. One appears to have been discovered between two parked cars with a second person found between two buildings within the car lot. This longtime Glassell Park resident says in the 45 years that he's lived here, he's seen a fair amount of criminal activity on this block. We need more police here because things can happen here, always happening things in this street. This and uh, we need more protection. And police tell us that witnesses say the suspect fled the area in a white Dodge Durango SUV, and they're now looking at surveillance video to try to confirm this. We're live in Glassell Park tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Share Micah back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you.